Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet, and we are continuing on with the Christmas 2020 event. And we've already caught all of the decorated white crappie from Lone Star, and now we're going to move on to the next stage. That means catching decorated fish with candy canes. Now, you can go to Lesney Vila, Ghent, Ternusen, Quanchkin, or Aktuba, but I am just going to head to the nearest place because I think most of you, like myself, would rather spend a little less money when we're doing some traveling. I think what we're going to do is head on to the map and travel to the little fishery here. I do have some pretty good spots where I've caught Prussian um, Prussian carp in the past and that is the one that was decorated last time in Fishing Planet. I'm a, I can only assume and hope <laughs> that's still the case. Um, as far as which side, we will have to get in and kind of look at the map I think. Now I've been in here a little bit today and there hasn't been too many people. It looks like there's some here now. So I may have to move over to the other side because I'm going to be in his way. As long as I'm not in his way. And he's like a level 47. So yeah, look. Decorated Prussian carp. So that's what we're after. That confirms it. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the other side, I think. So that I am not bothering him. I've got a marker right there. And I think that's where we're going to go. He's catching perch anyway. Uh, let's see. Where's my map? Yep, this is it. This is it. And we'll go ahead and... Put our thing down here. Now what is that marker marking? Let's see. Probably not Prussian carp. That's yeah, trophy Prussian carp. So that's what we're gonna do. Awesome. That works out for me. Does me some good. Alright, let's see. And they go for Red worms? I thought so. Semolina balls, pedo. We can try a little bit of everything here, but let's try the marmalade worms because since they're the special kind of guys. <laughs> Chewick, hey, how's it going, dude? Let me see here. You bet. <laughs> You're on video, man. <laughs> yeah, I like to do that to people. They enjoy that. I need to unclip this, though. I'm not sure. How do you unclip it? You? Well, we'll just cast it that way and hope for the best. Let's see. One... Yep, I am. I'm going to go ahead and fire a firework, see if I can get this going a little bit. There we go. That was pretty fast. Let's see if we got our Prussian carp here, guys. There's, it's looking good. Ah, oh, damn. Are you kidding me? It is an undecorated one. 
Ah, shoot. I don't remember how to unclip the line. That's what I want to do is cast out to there. I thought you'd... Oh, okay, that, you just press C again. Okay. I did it before. It didn't do anything. Maybe I just had to have it in my hand. Let's see. And I think I'll go ahead and pull my float rod out here. I am going to try some semolina balls just because they're a little cheaper. Yeah, he just said I got seven of them without fireworks. I can't really determine if it helps. Or not. I am getting a bite though. We got something on the semolina balls. Let's see what we got here, guys. A young common carp. Okay, looks like it's the first one. Well, we're going to try it without the fireworks this time. Because he did catch them. Maybe we just have to hang out a little bit longer. But we are going to get at least one of these suckers before this episode's over. Ah! Actually, that didn't take as long as I thought. And that spot still holds true. Well, let's put this down. I don't think this is a Prussian carp. It seems a little too small. It is a Prussian carp, just not decorated. Yeah, I'm going to save my money. Thanks, man. I was wondering, you know, I, it's like, seems like it helps, but I don't know if it's just the timing or, you know, because I was catching them without it too, so... Now that I've been able to speak with somebody else, especially one who's at a level 47, I have a feeling that he has a little bit of an idea here going what's going on with these guys. Oh, it looks like I got them both. Jeez. All at once. But I do think these marmalade red worms are the key. See, we got here another one. Yeah, I want to get this. This what is wrong with that? Okay, there it goes. Ah, tinch. Yeah, the only problem is, is these things are kind of pricey. <laughs> oh, wrong one. I keep doing that. I have my feather light on my first slot there, and I keep grabbing it. Because when I'm playing Fishing Planet, I keep my bottom rods in the first three sets. So I keep messing them up in my head. Uh, 
This seems a little on the small side. Depression. Let's see, the decorated Prussian are probably trophy sized. So they're going to have a little more oomph to them. Alright, guys, I am back. I had to leave for just a few minutes there, and I have. When I came back, I had a fish on the line, and unfortunately, he got loose because I didn't get to it quick enough. But we're going to try this again, maybe get another one, maybe get an even four, well, three then four. Shouldn't take too long. So far it's been pretty, pretty fast. I'm sure these guys are going to have to go after the semolina balls. I don't think they go for leeches though. They might. I'm already getting a bite. Come on. Fiddling, fiddling. Fiddling fish. Well, he quit, but I think we've got one on number two here, so let's see if we got us one here. It looks like Chewick left while I was away. Ah, there we go. There's another one. Oh, gosh, I definitely have one on there. Okay. It wasn't jingling, but it was, the line was just taken off. This could be one. I don't know. It's hard to tell at this point. Yep, it is. That makes it even four. Well, let's try one more time. One more fish. Get ourselves halfway there, and that will. Is that really resting on the bottom? Hmm. Well, number two's going off. All right. I can't. Nope, it is a tench. It's a good size one, though. 180. Yeah, the tench like to hang out here real deep in this pond. And there's another one there. No shortage, but this is probably not a decorated impression. Actually, it looked kind of silvery. Yep, silver brain. It looks like I've got a snag with this one. Let me go ahead and pull this in. This one I'm going to have to get unsnagged. The only problem is I think I've got something on it that's not a fish. Yep. Pondweed. Ah. Challenge complete. Leslie Vealy Refiner. Catch a certain number of underwater items for one gold. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, uh, Chewick was telling me to go back to Alberta to get, yeah, I, I did get quite a bit of gold there, but he said use 
just plain minnows and you can rack up the gold with the furry trout other than that you don't go back there and accept to decorate the Christmas tree well I thought I had a bite uh, come on make a decision Fiddlin', fiddlin', there he goes, number two. Couldn't tell which one it is. Mm, not sure about this one, guys. I think it's another tinge. Yep. Let's put the marmalade worms on there and see if they don't go for that a little bit better. I just didn't realize how shallow it was there. Now the leader does give it a little more length. Now that should be on bottom. And those Prussians should be down on the bottom somewhere. There we go. He's fiddling. Okay, I think we've got one that's a little more. Ooh, I got two of them. Okay, I think we got us another tinge here because he looks a little bit on the golden side. Yep, and then this one. I think it might be another silver brain. Yep. Well, shoot. They quit on me. And we're going to end up having to get more of the bait. We're down to four. Okay, we got something, probably another tinge. It's been what's biting. Now it's a little Prussian carp. And I'm out of current bait, of course. <laughs> well, that's problematic. We're gonna have to check the Prussian carp here. I think they go for pedo, red worms, blood worms, and we're gonna have to replace it with red worms, I guess. I think, we, yeah, we do. We do have them, so. It might decrease our odds in getting them. And again, maybe not. We're getting two good bites there. Let's see, the first one is a regular Prussian, and we're out of the bait.
Okay, this one's fairly good size. A young mirror carp. Well, we are going to have to rebate that. Yeah, we're kind of limited on what we can put on here. We're going to have to... I'm going to try these. They might go for them. There we go, we got a buy here. And there we go. There's five, guys. There's a little candy cane stuck to his dorsal fin. Let's see what this other one is, because this is off of the candied wax worms. So, no, they're off red worms. Kind of curious to see if we can get one of these off the regular baits. Nope, just Prussian carp, but they will bite off them. Alright guys, well, we are going to finish this off off screen and then move on to the garland carrying fish at Falcon, Mudwater, St. Croix, Weeping Willow. I think I'm going to go ahead and go to Falcon and see about getting them there. Haven't been there in a while. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.